One young woman is dead, another in the hospital after an early morning crash here in Nicholas County. The Republican candidates for governor debated this morning. This was the first time they were all in the same room since the abuse allegations surrounding James Comer came out. The search is on in eastern Kentucky for a man accused of shooting another man in the face. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT News at 5. Good afternoon. We have now learned the woman killed in a crash today in Nicholas County was a young mother. State police say 22-year-old Glenda Crump died after a car collided head-on with a box truck just before 8 on U.S. 68, close to the Bourbon County line. It was a tough scene to work for crash investigators. Police were on the scene for seven hours. WKYT's Jordan Valines is in Nicholas County with our top story at 5. A tragic accident in Nicholas County leaves a wife and a young mother dead. We're told the 22-year-old Glenda Crump of Carlisle was killed around 8 o'clock this morning right here on U.S. 68. KSP's initial investigation into this crash shows that Timothy Thompson of Lexington was driving eastbound in a box truck when two cars traveling in the other direction entered his lane. And without enough time to stop, his truck hit Glenda Crump's car head on. The impact pushed her car underneath the truck itself. Crump was pronounced dead at the scene. Kayla Livingood, the woman in the car behind Crump's, was taken to the hospital with a non life threatening head injury. Thompson wasn't injured, and troopers say he was actually the only one to call 911 after the accident. Give us, give us that little bit of your day to, to help us out in our investigation of the collision, because again, this is a tragedy. You know, somebody's lost their life, and to, to drive around a collision, um, it's, you know, you, can, you need to stop. Kentucky State Police say their crash reconstruction team will come back here tomorrow to the scene to get a total survey of the accident to determine exactly what happened that caused this crash. In Nicholas County, Jordan Valines, WKYT. Well, Kentucky State Police are still looking for the driver of a red minivan who police believe swerved around Glenda Crump's car moments before that collision. It has been called the nation's nastiest campaign of 2015. And this morning, the Republican race for Kentucky governor lived up to its billing. The four candidates faced off in a debate just one day after James Comer went on the defensive after his former college girlfriend went public with allegations of abuse. As WKYT Sam Smith tells us, today Comer said one of his opponents is behind the accusations. The first half of this debate was about policy. The second half was more heated and included talk about the abuse allegations surrounding James Comer. Those allegations came from an article in the Courier Journal. Comer's ex girlfriend, Marilyn Thomas, told the paper she was physically and mentally abused during their relationship. Comer says that's not true and says someone from Hal Heiner's camp is responsible for the story. Do you believe Hal Heiner was part of this story coming out? I certainly hope not, but his campaign was, yes. But to insinuate that somehow we're behind this is totally, totally and absolutely false. The other candidates, Will T. Scott and Matt Bevan, said they do not think Comer should be disqualified from the race because of the allegations. When asked, Heiner said the situation is between Comer and his ex. Heiner says his campaign will not address the issue further. Comer mentioned he planned to take legal action against the Courier Journal for the allegations printed in their paper. In Louisville, Sam Smith, WKYT. All of the candidates said that they would support the winner of the Republican primary. We have a new interactive chart showing voter turnout in Kentucky over the last decade on WKYT.com. The lowest turnout in the last 10 years was the 2011 primary for governor. The search is on this afternoon in eastern Kentucky for a man accused of shooting another man in the face. Kentucky State Police say the shooting happened last night at a home on Coates Branch Road in the Ari community of Perry County. Jennifer Palumbo is at the live desk with this crime tracker report. Jennifer? Amber, police are searching for 61-year-old James Brewer. They say Brewer and Robert Earl Miller got in a fight and Brewer shot Miller. Neighbors say they heard a gunshot coming from inside a trailer and called 911. State police say when they got to the trailer, they found Robert Earl Miller lying on the ground. He had a gunshot wound to his face. There was no sign of James Brewer.
Shortly after uh, officers arrived at the scene, they conducted a search of the area, but unfortunately were unable to locate Mr. Brewer. So at this time, he is still listed as at large and should be considered armed and dangerous. Miller was taken to Pikeville Medical Center. His condition has not been released. A warrant is out for James Brewer's arrest. At the live desk, Jennifer Palumbo, WKYT. Once Brewer is arrested, he will be charged with first degree assaults. The summer like trend continues with another day of warm temperatures here in the bluegrass. And with this heat and humidity on the increase, we could be also tracking some stray storms out there. WKYT Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey joins us early from the First Alert Weather Center with a look ahead. Yeah, sure sounds like the heart of summer, doesn't it? To heat, humidity, isolated shower and thunderstorm action. Pretty much your forecast in a nutshell for the next several days. But let's get into it and show you just how warm things are getting right now in Lexington. Beautiful view. Out there, but boy, oh boy, the sweat factor is up. It is now 85 degrees in Lexington. Humidity still in Lexington, not half bad. Farther south that we go, uh, the more humid the weather beginning to show up. Mid 80s across most of the region, 85 as well here into Frankfurt, 84 into downtown Richmond and Moorhead. Life first alert defenders, some of those isolated showers and storms now ongoing across parts of southeastern Kentucky. Not the biggest storms by any means, only impacting just a couple of areas here east of uh, the East Bernstadt area, right along the I-75 corridor. Or in east. Folks around Lake Cumberland looking to our south and one teeny tiny shower right on the Tennessee border. Lexington Metro, not a whole lot to write home about, and we're going to continue to see that mix of sun and clouds that'll carry us right on in to the evening. And again, partly sunny skies showing up with each and every stop on our live sky cams. Guys, when I come back in a little bit, I'm going to show you when this summer train comes to a thundering end in the seven day forecast. A highway has been reopened after a coal truck crash earlier today. Our county by county coverage begins in Perry County. Highway 28 in Chavez was closed after a coal truck turned over, spilling coal all over the road. The Kentucky Department of Transportation was called in to clean up the coal and remove the truck. The road was reopened earlier this afternoon. No one was injured. In Laurel County, the search continues this week for a man who has been missing for almost three years. Clarence Holmes disappeared on Laurel Lake back in July of 2012. Police say he was helping other boaters during a storm. The family says divers will be out on the lake all this week searching a specific area. There have been dozens of searches of the lake since Holmes disappeared. Scary situation for a driver on Polo Club Boulevard earlier this afternoon after a wild turkey smashed his windshield. Mac McWright says he had just left Costco and was heading toward Winchester Road on Polo Club when a pair of turkeys flew out in front of him. A couple of wild turkeys flew across the berm in the middle of the road and I didn't have time to stop. They hit my windshield and uh, shattered it. Well, the driver says he is lucky that he had his glasses on because he believes they saved his eyes when the glass of his windshield shattered. Wow. 